people. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you know that someone is trying way too hard when they're trying to be funny in reality, they're trying to look stupid. Welcome to my vagina. <laughs> Damn. That's the holla back video of a woman who walked through New York for 10 hours that ruffled every pubic hair on professional street pests that clearly have nothing better to do than waste someone's time by harassing women. I love it on how you just show the clips of men just say, damn. Here's the rest of the video. How are you doing today? Wow. That's not good. Wow. Huh? Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Somebody's acknowledging you. How are you smart? Have a nice evening. How are you doing? How are you doing good? Hey, look at that. It's five thousand dollars. You want to talk? Huh? We can't be friends or nothing. You want to speak? Can I give you my number? You can talk to me? No? Yeah. It's a lucky dude. What's up, man? How you doing? Nice oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, being nice, comment, commenting on woman's looks. You know, saying that she's beautiful, or even saying hi to this person, or trying to know this person, is considered street harassment. I can't wait on what a feminist definition on what is murder. Racism is a whole other appalling topic, but we're here to get cozy with vaginas, so let's. It would be a compliment to walk down the street without being objectified, to wear a dress that I like without being followed like my vagina is a dumpling and you haven't eaten in a few days. That's incredibly stupid. What you just said was incredibly fucking stupid. Everyone is objectified, not just women, but men, as well as transgenders, asexuals, um, bisexual, gays, lesbians, Blacks, whites, Asians, uh, Hispanics, everyone is objectified. Just because a man wants to know you doesn't mean that he, you know, wants to just get in your fucking pussy. And even if all he wanted from you is to have sex, it's still not fucking street harassment. Okay? If you cannot control yourself, go jerk off. Not in public on the subway where a girl can see you. My first experience in Philly. Thank you. Or get a sturdy rubber band, and every time you feel the need to address someone who probably just wants to get to the subway, snap yourself on the dick. So in other words, men should never approach women. At all. Here was a disappointing but typical reaction from Fox News. Fox News. So, there is nothing more that a woman loves to hear is that how pretty she is. Ugh. Jesus fucking Christ, you look like you've been possessed by Shithulu. I have things to do other than make strangers feel uncomfortable. Yeah, if you make that face again, you make me feel uncomfortable. As a woman, I guarantee you there are other things that I and other women would like to hear. Hey, did you know there's a free dinosaur to the Natural History Museum? <gasps> you act like you women don't even get this sort of shit. You're just lying on your ass right now. I have friends and coworkers that can let me know that I look lovely today, all without licking their lips and making me feel like I should run home with my ass against the brick wall. Oh God, the scenery! Oh, I must chew it! Oh, 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 oh God! Oh, oh yes, so beautiful! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh, yeah! See, I could do this shit too, but uh, you act like every man on the street looks at you, gives you this big nasty stare that just want to have sex with you, just want to rape you, just lick their lips like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I just want to fuck you, yeah, oh, 
Oh, I just can't control myself. <laughs> this pretty much just shows that you're a misandrist because you pretty much just stereotype every freaking man that you pretty much don't know as this possible rapist who just gives you this strange look, lick their lips and be like, yeah, yeah, we just want to rape you and all that shit. You are a misandrist. And this video proves and I know you're gonna say, I have plenty of male friends. Just take a look at my two roommates. Yeah, ha ha ha. Right, just like on how one of the races says, I'm not racist, I have plenty of black friends. So you're telling me then, if I compliment you on the street, it's some sort of abuse, no matter how I choose to do it? <clears throat> that means if you no, don't compliment me, saying. no, hold on, hold on. If you don't compliment me when I walk by, that's abuse. You didn't bolster my self-esteem. I want to <laughs> find you. I want to start a coalition mm. against women who don't compliment men. What? No! Ah! I'm a fucking idiot! Ah, I'm just gonna punch you in the penis with- Hey, don't punch vagina, punch penis. Yeah. It's good. And no one is declaring all interactions between men and women harassment. The video that I just showed you pretty much shows other. That is ridiculous. We all look, we all glance at an attractive person, but there is a difference between a friendly, fleeting nod and leering. Some people leer at me and I don't give a shit. Some guy told me my fly was down the other day. Thank you. Hey bro, you twat's hanging out. No intent behind it. The thing is, we know the difference, and we know that you know the difference between polite interaction and motivation. I am very, very doubtful! Discussions outside of that panel, um, you were all fantastic, and I love talking to you guys. Um, all of you, except for the, the one man who um, didn't really grasp, I think, what I was saying, on the panel because um, at the bar later that night, actually at four in the morning, um, we were at the hotel bar. 4 a.m. I said, you know, I've had enough guys, I'm exhausted, going to bed. Uh, so I walked to the elevator and a man got on the elevator with me and said, don't take this the wrong way, but I find you very interesting and I would like to talk more. Would you like to come to my hotel room for coffee? Um, just a word to the wise here, guys, uh, don't do that. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't really know how else to explain how this makes me incredibly uncomfortable, but I'll just sort of lay it out that I it was a single woman, you know, in a foreign country at 4 a.m. in a hotel elevator with you, just you, and I don't invite me back to your hotel room <laughs> right after I finish talking about how it creeps me out and makes me uncomfortable when men sexualize me in that manner. In other words, it's not women who don't know the difference. It's not a different kind of women who don't understand it. No, no, no. It is feminists like yourself who don't know the difference. So don't be a dick. Another reason to avoid catcalling. Women are victims of sexual violence every day. Any man watching this who just got angry? Fucking feminist. Fucking feminist are ruining my life. Stop it right now. Fucking learn something. Learn to take your own advice. I made like three fucking videos against you and not a single response directly towards my because even in places like New York, where it's supposed to be open-minded, women are getting followed home. A friend of mine had a man stick his hand under her skirt, and the other day a strange man in public patted my ass because he thought that he was entitled to it. Well, I'm sorry to hear. What, you thought I was some sort of monster? Oh, shocking. These are just a few examples within my social circle about the actions of some men. Some, not to be confused with all. But because some men feel they have this right, it forces us to be hyper aware of our interactions with all men. And yet still, women are expected to engage with strangers without question. In other words, you're paranoid. That's right, you along with the many feminists out there are freaking paranoid. And why is that? Because I see plenty of women who walk down the street, both big, fat, and 
ugly women and nice and sexy women. They're fine. You know, walking down the street, you know, being catcalled every now and then. And why is it that they're okay with it? Because they know how to handle it. They're, these women are grown-ups. People like yourself are not grown-ups. You're acting like little children who feel like the world should fit your own personal ego. A lot of women, when we leave the house, we are not looking for compliments. We are not strolling the streets waiting like, is anyone going to notice these pants today? There, No one's holding a gun to your head telling you you have to live in New York City. All right, ladies, we got to pack up our lives and jobs and friends because we just have to accept that some creepers can't keep their mouth shut. And so we have to lose everything. Or maybe these people just want to express how kind they are by com complimenting on how good you look. I mean, it's not like every fucking man on the street just looks at you and just want to have sex with you. Some of them just want to, you know, compliment your looks. I meet, I meet strangers every day, and guess what? I just say, hello, have a nice day. Women like yourself are fucking paranoid. But if you just want to ward off men, then I suggest you start making this face. It's fucking creepy especially our dignity. We understand the threatening implications that go along with someone who views us as a thing. Maybe a polite comment is as far as it goes with you, but I don't know you. So? What, what? Are we all of a sudden just need to just keep our mouth shut and just say things that you just want to hear? We don't know you, and that is why it is threatening. Political correctness has gone too far. If you don't mm. like it as a woman, turn around and tell them to shut up. Stand up for yourself. Act like a strong woman. Because that doesn't get you killed, right? Because a woman got no. killed for doing that the other day in Detroit. A coworker of mine asked a man on the subway to stop commenting on her ass, and he body checked her. She had a black eye for a week. And what about the other women who stand up for themselves and don't receive a black eye? Right, actually. So you, sir, do not know what you're talking about. Then carry about, a gun. You... Oh my god, that fucking guy. I shouldn't need to tell you that's ridiculous. Apparently I do. But in case you were wondering, the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Health pointed out that the risk of a woman being disarmed and killed with her own gun is far greater than her using it in self-defense against her attacker. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Somebody's acknowledging you. She's an angry You seem to think that you have the right to harass her. It is her right to not respond to you. Again, this is not fucking harassment. You want to see real harassment? Okay, take a look at this. Very recently, I was spat at at uh, a station and it was called uh, a faggot. In India, the past decade or so has seen more social acceptance of being openly gay but almost no one in public life declares it. Those are things that you face when you live uh, your life out of the closet. Harish has spent most of his life hiding his sexual orientation. He was brutally harassed in school. There, were, there was the college Lou, which actually had for gay sex contact Harish. So to, to an extent that it actually propelled me to try committing suicide. And, uh, and I survived. Decided not to keep his sexuality a secret. It was around 24 that I came out as an openly gay man. Um, my mother was very aghast in the first uh, instance when I told her. He reassured her that he wouldn't tell anyone. But a week later, he appeared on live television talking openly about his sexuality. My mother feared for my life. Uh, she thought that this is, a, this is a kind of sexuality that will not be accepted. Then, in July of 2009, the Supreme Court ruled that Article 377 violated India's constitution. He also gets daily messages from other members of the Indian LGBT community asking for his guidance. Yes, there is an underbelly of, uh, of hatred and homophobia that exists in our country. Uh, but we all need to find our little freedoms within the, gam within the gamut of uh, hate that we live in. You see, being insulted is harassment. You know, telling people that they're 
they are wrong for being who they are is harassment. Being attacked is harassment. What she has faced is not harassment. What she is facing is the typical greetings of human nature. If a woman wants to ignore your harassment, that is her right. Getting angry because she wants nothing to do with you and continuing to speak to her is further harassment. Take a hint. Do you know that some women play hard to get? Yeah, some guys have to work for it. You Refusing to understand by going out of your way to make us feel vulnerable and threatened? Well, there is no hope for you, really. You're, you're just a bad human. The street should be safe for you and me and everybody else. Respect, baby. All I have to say is that you're extremely sexist. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.